I like to get out there, get a bit of exercise and uh, enjoy myself. You can get to places where I can't get to in my boat. I live uh, pretty close to the water at Ormiston and um, catch a lot of squire and brim and sweet lip. Um, so, a bit of fun. Uh, I dig up in the dams as well for the bass, but um, close to the salt water, so go for the salt water species. My most memorable moment on a kayak would have to be uh, uh, catching an 88 centimetre Jew on a crank 38 on 8 pound line. Yeah, it's not small. <laughs> it's on the light set up. Fuck! It did nothing and I got him to the surface and he just took off. Good thready. Good thready. Yeah. He might rub me through here, I've only got 10 pound. Oh, one of the hooks come out. No. Woohoo! Well done, Joshy, well done. Stoked. And on 10 pound. On 10 fight. pound, yeah. I thought he was going to rub me through because he'd had it swallowed at the start. Yep. I got him up to the surface and then uh, one of the hooks pulled. And I was just. So lucky to get him into the net. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, absolutely stoked. Look, I just love the, the simplicity of it, you know, like not having to get the boat out on the weekend and, you know, just something small, take it out in the middle of the week, nice quick sessions and get up creeks and stuff like that, something easy. It's a lot more stealthy than any other style of fishing. Um, that's what really makes it unique for me is, yeah, it's just a lot different. My favourite species to bit target in the kayak would have to be toga, now threadies, um, and probably bass. The most memorable moment on the kayak would have to be Probably my first toga actually. Um, so I was out on uh, Lake Colomba um, pretty much two weeks after I got a kayak, so a long, long time ago, and um, just wasn't expecting to catch anything and got onto one of my dream fish.
love to get out in the water and you, know, you can sort of be by yourself and just just relax. It's it's a lot of it. It's a lot easier of a day. You throw the kayak on the car. You can get down the water. You come home. You don't have to worry about running the motor and cleaning everything out. Just give it a wash, put it away, and like, you can access so much more water that you just can't get to in a boat. Uh, I love getting out and chasing bass on our local dams, um, up in the creeks, and salt water's got to be snapper. Get out and get a good feed, and you know, a bit of offshore fishing is always nice, a bit of salt in the veins. Hey, Mark! Gorgeous. Yeah, it's class. Yeah, I'm sorry. All good. Thanks, guys. Slow bite, eh? Oh, yeah, dog. <laughs> dog. Oh, straight on. Not a bad size, right. whatever it is. Hey. Good grip, man. There it is. He's a good grip. Foul looked, but got him. Foul looked again, they must it's be still. that thick. They're, They're just, just swiping yeah. everything. They're swiping it. I just got this brim on the drop, but he wasn't even hooked. He literally was just tangled around the fishing line. So they're that angry in, in a frenzy at the moment that they're just swiping at everything. And uh, he somehow got caught up in the line. Oh, I might have got the PB. No, nah, it's not jinx it. I've, got, I've gone up to 10 pound now, so you should be able to just lift him up yep. and in, bud. Lead us down a bit further. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come That's on, baby. That's a good fish. Oh, he's a beauty. Yeah. Yeah!